How are we all doing? VCU? Nice. <laughs> Whatever tight he's got to wear it, yeah. Uh, listen, I got nothing, nothing open to say. We're excited about playing Buffalo. We know the challenge we're facing. Maybe the, we know it's the stiffest challenge uh, we probably had to this point, and hopefully we'll be ready to uh, match it with that all opening up. Steve, I asked you last week how the game plan changed once uh, you got up in Tampa big early. Right. So now the other side of that. Did anything change? Uh, this past week? Once you got down. behind? Uh, not really. I mean, it was, um, no, nah, it was grinding. Look, at that point, you're trying to, from the defensive standpoint, right, is trying not to let them, allow them to get any more points on the board and let our offense get going. Uh, no, I mean, listen, it's Burr up and play ball. They, they scored on the fourth and one. That was, you know, probably a bad call on my part put the guys in a tough situation, so it's a quick one out of the blocks there. And then I forget how the other ones happened. But, yeah, we were down 17 nothing or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we got to grind away at that point. Um, nothing special other than stick to the game plan and let's play better. The fact that you guys have been so good at coming back from big deficits with the padded quarterback, does yeah. that make your job a little easier in those situations? I'm not sure it does, to be all honest. I mean, listen, that's, that's great to have, but when you're behind, I don't think our job's any different. It's not like we sit there and say, well, we can, we're down 17 to nothing. We can afford another 10 points because Pat's going to score. I mean, it, w that's not the, I would say no. I mean, it's nice to, I, I will say this. I mean, easier to uh, stick to the game. Yeah, I, I will say this. I know these words have come out of my mouth. You know, you go in at halftime and we're down. Listen, guys, we just do our job. We know our offense is, a, you know what I mean? There is that. So I think our guys have a lot of confidence in if we can, get it back to balance by us keeping them out of the end zone or off the scoreboard that, that, that our offense is going to do something to come so down. What do you tell Chris Jones now after that play the other night and your other pass rush? Just stay away yeah. from the quarterback? No. <laughs> I, I hope not. Um, listen, there's plenty of videos out there that the NFL gives us on the right way. I show them most every Saturday night, not always uh, tackling the quarterback. It might be DPI and what we're supposed to do. It might be what we're not supposed to do and hold. I mean, we have a, there's a two or three minute session of that every Saturday night. So we're always just pounding the rules and got to follow them and do them better, I guess. I mean, I, listen, I'm not going to comment on it because no. it's over and done, but yeah. What, I feel your frustration. No, I'm just, <laughs> yeah. I'm just wondering what, um, at what point you worry about your guys maybe backing off a little bit. That's a good point. That's a good point. I hope that doesn't happen. That's that's yeah. a penalty. Probably a lot of things are going to be a penalty. Yeah. I hope that doesn't happen. I hope we keep playing. Steve, your run game, you obviously hold the team to three yards in. Yeah. Josh Jacobs comes in. Yeah. Uh, what, what's kind of, what are you trying to address with the run defense? Yeah, team? listen, they, I give them a lot of credit. We actually did anticipate that they were going to run some of those downhill eye runs. Uh, I thought we'd do better against them. Uh, if you go back and... Listen, we can always do this. I can make myself feel better by saying this. You know, the 37-yarder, if we don't miss the tackles, it's a 7-yard gain. And the, there was a 13-yarder in there. And there was a 20-yard in there. We got out of a gap. And if we tackle it, you know, so then all of a sudden I do the numbers and it's not as bad. But if you're going to give up three, it was either th our explosive runs are 10 or more. And if you're going to give up three or four of those, you know, that's going to add up. Now, I believe, um, if, if I have it right, on at least two of the explosive runs, we were able to at least hold them to a field goal, which is a semi-win, um, because usually those explosive plays lead to more points than that. So there was a positive to take from that. But I certainly hope we're better against the run game. This what about the from the other night? The last play of the game, you had guys cramped, hurt, and some guys who had not been in the game at all. What, what's your kind of fear factor when you've got guys who haven't been out there trying to make that play and how proud were you that they got the job done? Yeah, I was very proud. Josh Williams over there, you know, I know the two receivers bumped into each other, but Josh did a really good job of pressing number one to kind of help create that. Um, we didn't blink, I can tell you that. We were just calling what we thought was the best thing to win that down at that time and just having the confidence in the guys that were in there to execute it, and they did. did a nice job. And what do you learn when a team for their own circumstances goes to six offensive linemen and how that may change Yeah, in particular with the run game and maybe some play action involved. Yeah, I mean, we anticipated it. We thought maybe they would do that because um, there's a lot of teams in the league now. You know, tight ends are uh, sometimes better at catching the football. 
and running routes and blocking. So a lot of teams are doing that. We were aware that they were coming in. We thought we were calling, you know, defenses to address that. Um, didn't quite execute them like we wanted to, and maybe we got to have a better uh, plan on that. But that's always in the, you know, the back of our mind or in the forefront. I mean, the Bills could do the exact same thing this coming week. Coach, just maybe a better question if, if Rashad was a little healthier, but has Jalen done enough to keep his role in the rotation, you know, had Rashad? Uh, he's certainly done enough to be in there somewhere. I mean, he's, he's, he's proven that uh, he deserves to be out there. You said Trent, yeah. Exactly. Um, and we'll see how that unwinds, but um, it's, it's nice. You know, sometimes there's a silver lining, right, to the injury we had to Trent. We didn't want that, uh, but we found out a little bit about Jalen, and, and that's a good thing. Speaking of, uh, I tried. I, know, I, know. I, I tried. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Speaking of Rashad, uh, it seems like things just haven't been going his way. You know, he's tasked to guard the best receiver out there. What's yeah. the conversation like with him? Uh, nothing. I mean, listen, Rashad's the type of corner that you know, his, his confidence doesn't get shattered, and he'll go back out there and play it the exact same way. You know, both Rashad and Jalen in the game had instances where they got to play it a little bit better. I was talking about these NFL officials videos that I show them on Saturday, and they do show – the right way to play in those, and you know they got to look for the football. Now we t we talk about that, and hopefully we get better at it. Kind of the challenge is uh, Diggs and Gabe Davis. Both yeah, um, <laughs> what kind of a challenge? Uh, ultra, ultra tough. I mean, they got two of them, and listen, the guy with the ball in his hands that's firing it to him is pretty good too. Both vertical guys, both guys that uh, you got to be concerned with with the big play, and I think Josh Allen's always looking for the big play. So it's like on every down. It's not like a third down thing. Um, you know, hopefully we maintain our depth and don't give up the explosive passes because that's when, you know, the explosive passes and the explosive runs lead to points allowed. And our biggest focus is just on the points allowed. That's the biggest thing for us. What are the points against Josh Allen when you know he can get you deep, but also is like basically a, a running back? In yeah, be deeper than the deepest for the for, really for the guys on the back end for the hold down because he extends the down and the guys up front be relentless in your pass rush because. He'll hold it and run around back there, and if you give him a half a second and you're not relentless, he's going to uncork one deep, and then it becomes a jump ball, and the two guys that you just mentioned are really good at it, and it becomes a challenge for the back end guys. Uh, where, where's your philosophy? I mean, it looked like maybe you sneak, kind of maybe trailed a little bit late with Devontae Adams. Yeah, we did do I, that. I know you lose a little bit of you know, the disguise and things when you, when you do that. But yeah. Uh, that, I mean, it's a good observation on your part because we did that a little bit last week. We pick our spots in games, before games. Dave Merritt and I are always talking about it. Um, listen, the one thing about LJ is he loves a challenge. So when you say, hey, go take that guy, he's more than willing to do it. So going forward, we'll see where we are with the other teams. And how does this help you look for you? Uh, you know, yesterday, you know, wasn't a full speed practice and it's been a bunch of walkthroughs, so it's hard for me to decipher that right now. We'll have a better idea after today. You mentioned yeah. Josh Allen kind of scrambling around, but they, they do some straight runs with him as well. Yes, uh, quarterback designated runs. So yeah. A lot of those runs and usually big kind of play yep. times, right? Third down. Yeah, they're usually down. in critical situations, right? And then he's done them, he's done them against us here. Um, early third and twos or fourth downs. And listen, we're game planning, hopefully, to, to stop it. I'm sure they'll have things off of that. Uh, he's a He's a beast. You know, running with the football, he's big. Jumped over LJ. Um, we were watching that one this morning. I don't know if you guys remember. I can't remember if it was the playoff game or the. But he's a uh, he's the real deal. I got a lot of respect for him. He's really good. Last two, Matt and Willie. What have you learned the last few games about Darius Harris? And when Willie gets back, you know, what is kind of a, a spot for him or role for him? Yeah, I mean, I think that, you know we've talked about Jalen, um, but Darius certainly has proven that he deserves to be out there, and that we all have confidence in him, and we have to go to him. Um, you know, I think we talked about this before. I was, we were always uh, very confident in his mental aspect of the game. He's shown that. And then he has shown up in his tackling. Um, he gets better and better. And, again, maybe there's a little blessing there, too. I mean, we didn't want to lose Willie, uh, but we did. And now we have a better idea what, what uh, Darius can do. Coach, not to keep bringing up the deficit from last week, but if you get a deficit against Josh Allen, it's not huh. a knock on Derek Carr, but it might be a little harder to come back. And Reed was yeah. saying yesterday that Pat was kind of the guy who kept everyone from without getting panicked on the offensive side. So who who's that on the defensive side? Who's the player who keeps everyone in that knock? You know, I, it's, I think it's kind of a group effort. Um, you know, I know all the coaches are involved in that. Or I do think, and going back to the point we were making earlier, I do think, 
we all have confidence that our offense can find a way to eventually get some points. But at some point, you know, we can't allow it to keep creeping up. Um, I, think we all, I think all the players kind of take it. I can't really pick one out. Uh, Nick, Nick, obviously, you know, is a leader. And a bunch of those D linemen. And Legarius is kind of a voice of reason on the back end. Juan's been really good there, too. So. Thanks, everyone. Good. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah.